fuck? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Bastard. Let's see if we can rectify that <laughs> mistake. Why isn't he coming out? What the hell's that about? Oh, I ain't getting that just yet. Can I get on this? Okay, that was a bit of a weird cut out, whatever you want to call it. Oh, these guys are seriously all dead. Let's combine it with that. Got no choice. Why didn't he come out? That's so weird. I feel chipped. I'm sure there's a reason, but all right, here goes. Yeah, all right. It's never that smooth. I'm gonna try and get on that ladder. <laughs> Maybe not. Look at that thing, it's like Jurassic Park, man. Gotta love them flame rants. Actually, I'll go for the uh, explosives. I've only got one of them, haven't I? <sighs> Good shit. Right. Got a herb over here, is that it? Oh no, what do I do? That's a tough call. It's worth it. I'm sure something's gonna happen here. Oh fuck, here we go. Oh shit. Oh fuck that. Oh shit. They're still alive. Could have done without that. <sighs> He's all right. I hope. <sighs> right, so I've got no shotgun shells, but I've got a shitload of firepower. Before I put the last one in, it didn't take too much off me. Pursue Nikolai. So I gotta do all that in under five minutes for the trophy. Hmm, I look forward to that. Doing in here. 
Let's have a look. Unfinished activity log. Infiltrated RC. Disturbances are sporadic. Commencing mission. Observed five RPD officers engaging a pack. 20 strong. Officers annihilated in 20 minutes. Test ran at university. Diverted pack including canines to campus 64% infection and conversion in two hours no survivors successful rendezvous with MV platoon will make first attempt at dawn this is disgusting diverted pack toward common post results night skirmish in confined area with a large number of combatants video attached will I get to see that video end of skirmish seven survivors Unknown bioweapon deployed at point D18, tracking it per orders. It appears to be on the hunt. Is that Nemesis or Mr. X? Got eyes on two stars, a male infected. That's Brad and female. That's got to be Jill. Bioweapons pursuing the female, so it's Nemesis then. Female Jill Valentine has made contact with MV Platoon. Bioweapons appearance and behaviour are consistent with Project N, Nemesis. Investigating. Observed bioweapon wielding conventional weapons. It seems to be strongly fixated on terminating Jill Valentine and knows the city layout. Evidence it can be imprinted. Metamorphosis, metamorphosis in the bioweapon triggered by a hostile encounter with Jill Valentine. Video attached. Someone's been filming me. <laughs> Jill Valentine has been infected and is non responsive. Collected samples per orders. Over 17 hours have elapsed since Jill Valentine's exposure to virus. Conversion has been slow, suggesting she may be resistant. Vaccine recovered and administered to Jill Valentine by Carlos Olivio, a soldier in MV platoon. Jill Valentine expected to be fit for combat approximately 20 hours post-exposure. It seems clear the bioweapon is Project Nemesis. Contact with Jill Valentine causes it to change and evolve. What's this about? Will induce further encounters to obtain more uh, precise data. Uh. Oh no! Don't tell me I can't search the rest of that shit. Tyrell. I got through. They're willing to negotiate. Ah! They'll call off the strike if, and this is one big ass if, we can deliver the vaccine to them before they launch. How long do we have? Hours, maybe. Then let's not waste one more second. This way. Well, hang on, mate. Got a save room here and everything. Oh. Hello, what are you? Extended barrel. It's like I need that. But I will. <laughs> A custom part for the Lightning Hawk. This ball barrel reduces recoil and imparts extra speed to bullets, increasing damage. I haven't even used it yet. That still doesn't. Take up two extra spaces, that's good to know. We'll find the vaccine up ahead. I can't even run. Sure you don't need to stop? Stop and do what? I got your back. All right, let's get this done. What the fuck? <sighs> Oh, he's dead. 
Oh, he's so dead now. Definitely dead. Oh my god, fuck that. horrible doof, 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 doof. oh man look at her skin nice and wet now mm. that feels nice <laughs> Locked, okay. Need something for that, obviously. But not right now, use this guy. Yeah, these guys ain't getting up. Stick to this. Uh, okay, we got a save room. Nest 2 employee. Nest 2! Nest 2, so this is the second nest. Okay. <laughs> State the obvious, but now I'm just remembering the one from the remake. The second remake. Employee regulations. Attention Nest 2 employees. The objectives of this T-Virus research facility differ from those of Umbrella's main nest facility. Here we focus on real-world use cases, which arise as new bioweapons are created and introduced, such as the need for T-virus vaccines and new weaponry capable of suppressing bioweapons. Some aspects of our work here can be dangerous, so it's imperative that all employees adhere to our workplace regulations, to workplace regulations without fail. In particular, unauthorized entry by unapproved visitors or the removal of work-related data or materials will be met with severe disciplinary measures. It is a great honour to be a part of the finest research organisation in the world. Keep this in mind and stick to the rules as we forge new and revolutionary technologies. Oh, okay. I'm in storage. Machinery room. How many floors, man? Oh my goodness. This place is bigger than I thought. Alright, what have we got up here? Wouldn't say no to, um, Shotgun shells right about now. This is some close quarter shit. Oh god. might be under that body once maybe he gets up. They did that with the demo. Maybe that was hints. Alright, I'll come back for that. So we've got this area here. And this area, this looks dodgy. Well. I'm not 
sure I like this gun. <laughs> There's a rhythm with it which I can't do with. I might have to take the other one. Isaac Graves diary. The pay was generous, the benefits were good. Most importantly, they promised me I'd be contributing to state-of-the-art medical tech research. For a university teacher stuck working in nowhere, America, it was a golden opportunity, like winning the lottery. So I went for it. I made the pitch to my family and we agreed to move here in Ra uh, to Raccoon City. Well, hindsight is 2020 because this lab is a den of monsters who conduct cruel and barbaric experiments for the sole purpose of taking human life in the most sickening way, taking human life in the most sickening, sickening way possible. It's messed up. The world needs to know. But every time I work up enough courage to blow the whistle, I think of Penny and Casey and immediately chicken out. Understandable. Umbrella owns this town. There was this guy they caught trying to smuggle out company secrets. They essentially fed him to one of the betas. Fed him. <laughs> I saw the whole thing. I got my wife and daughter into this. I just need to do my job, do as I'm told, for their sake. But let us be testament that I do have a conscience and that I've learned my lesson. <laughs> interesting. That's an uh, interesting one. Oh, I shouldn't have reloaded that. Darn it. What did I actually get here? I just got some ammo on that note. There was no objective based anything here. As far as I can see. Okay, I remember that. Alright, this area. Get a feeling I'll be taking a card key card from here or something. This music's interesting. Right, I'm gonna check this guy. Oh, <laughs> it's like it. It's like it moves when you look at it in its direction. So that's handy to know. So I've got to put something in that machine, the mixture maybe. Override key successfully generated. What have we here? Override key removed. That computer voice sounds like the one in the remake, uh, in the Neptune area of Brisher Threshold, that one. <laughs> Flash drive. Nice. Override key. An emergency security key used in Nest 2 allows employees to override security protocols in the event of emergency evacuation. Does that mean I can get in that door now? Below me? I'm running low on space, I'm gonna sort this out. Nice, it does work. Well, that took out that spot, so. Is 
Is this where I came from? Yeah. I will still quickly put... Actually, I'll do even better than that. Great gunpowder as well. I'm gonna do it. And it gives you four, but that's a lot of damage. I'm sure that'll be alright for now. God. Shit, you got Shane here. Shit. Oh, don't tell me you can't come up the stairs. Come on. Oh, crap. Uh, there's some more shit here. What is that? That's quite freaky, man. Kidding me. Fucking have that. That better be the end of you. There's loads of them. Can you go? Oh, he's coming up for me, man. I don't often do this in uh, Resident Evil games. I take the liberty of using the magma, magnum on regular enemies as such, but yeah. I think I'll make an exception. <laughs> These guys are way too fast, so I'm just gonna. Uh, flame rounds don't really work, so. But acid rounds would be great right now. He's still up. This is super zombies, man. You're kidding me. No way. That is ridiculous, man. Come up here. He's really making it hard for me. Ain't you? Look at you. Little fast sod. Shh. Wow. down here man uh, I 
note for a start. Shipping notice. Cargo nemesis. Shipping route. Hmm. I'm sure that route means something, apart from at the end, Raccoon City, but... September the 1st, 1998. Class 1, hazardous materials. Additional notes, all transit within the United States is to be made via helicopter. Take extreme care during takeoff and landing. A shock to the parcel, parcel may potentially lead to self-activation. We here at the European branch are excited to hear your thoughts and evaluation of this newest prototype and are pleased to offer this specimen to you for testing. It has been through numerous trials and possesses incredible destructive power, so please exercise extreme caution when using it. Herman Frankel. Yeah, those zombies are tough, man. There's a herb over there. Shotgun shells, alright. Yeah, they need their heads blown off. There's another space there. Where'd it go? Where'd it even start? Alright, let's um stay up here. This is going to take me. Lab one. Vaccine equipment. That's where I need to go. All right, let's uh, let's go for it. Oh God! I ain't got nothing. <laughs> one of these ones. Culture sample. Oh, an antigen sample. I'll definitely need this for the vaccine. Oh fuck it up. Okay. Let's have a look at this. Insert T virus sample. Key agent for antibody production. Used to synthesize the vaccine. Please don't come up. Weapon reauthorization request. Dear Dr. Emerson, I would like to formally request that the weaponry normally reserved for the bioweapon synthesis team be made available for any employees interfacing with the admission and dismissal of, te of test subjects. These test subjects do not present the same levels of danger as our bioweapon products, but I believe that this weaponry authorization is advisable as outlined below. Recently some test subjects have developed a new mutation granting them very high regrowth abilities. Our team refers to these specimens as pale heads. Alright, so these are those strong zombies. They've been appear appearing with regularity, but the specific cause has not yet been determined. The astonishing rate at which these pale heads regenerate makes it difficult to deliver a lethal blow with standard weaponry. Here we go. If any sort of system failure were to occur within our facility, we would be woefully underprepared to defend ourselves. For this reason, I would like to request that high-powered weaponry capable of subduing the pale heads be issued to all of our employees working in shipping and processing. This will ensure that in the event of an emergency, we will be able to quickly eliminate the threats and evacu evacuate safely. Thank you very much for your consideration, shipping and processing manager, Gabrielle Reed. That's not an unreasonable request. Surely. I'm getting a lot of shit here. Oh. Oh, it was there. Nice. Is that it? Just this little room boxed off. Okay.
What? Oh. Jesus. Scientists' dying message. It's happened. A worst case scenario. The T virus has somehow leaked. Under orders from Dr. Bard, I'm to manufacture mass quantities of the vaccine. I've prepared a culture of the T virus antigen. Now we just need to combine it with an ad adjuvant to enhance its effects, and I should be able to produce enough vaccine to save all the surviving citizens. The adjuvant samples are stored in the incubation lab. Test subjects are already wandering the halls, but I'd better find a way to get some samples while this culture is maturing. If I don't make it back, please complete the synthesis process. Try to find a way to stop this outbreak. It's the least we can do after setting these horrifying events in motion. Okay. I'll take that. Hello. Oh. That was good timing. So it's given me these now, so maybe... Maybe they do work against these things. This must be what powers it. The briefcase, or <laughs> nice. I'll get there. Seconds. Oh shit! Hello. Ugh! Horrible. strong. Just got to hold that. Well, that wasn't exactly hard. Oh. Oh. Do I want to take that? I'm not going to take that. Well, I'll take it just in case it saves my bacon. But I will dispose of it if necessary. God, we're really here, aren't we? Oh my god, it's hunters. And tyrants, or something. These are tyrants. Oh, they are tyrants. I gotta take a look at this. Jesus. Is this where they're made? Well, it's giving me ammo and everything now. That one. He's all over the place. <laughs> oh god, it's saved. I hate it when it saves.
Oh, fucking way. hell. Oh, there's something else. Of oh, fuck's sakes. All right. What do we want to use here? I can't do that, can I? I've got to do that with the... Uh... That would be good time. Shit. Oh god, it's got one of them things as well. Shit. Oh fuck. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Jesus, those things don't give a shit, do they? Oh no. They're just retreating. Right. Let's try these out of rounds. He just retreated back. There he is, come on. Press L1 then. <laughs> Whoops, did it again. Got all these, man. Oh, shit. Um. She's a mine round. Vital organs. Expression of concern. Senior fellow Dr. Frankel, please allow me to send my heartfelt congratulations to you and your colleagues at Umbrella Europe for completing Nemesis, a truly remarkable achievement in the field of bioweapons research. Introducing a parasitic organism into a tyrant's brain to give external control of it? How can I not marvel at such a wild idea? However, from a medical perspective, I must emphatically state my disapproval of this shift away from established umbrella policy. By turning to the use of parasites, you are setting a dangerous precedent. Viruses can be kept in check. I believe an effective vaccine can be developed for any virus on Earth, with abundant funding and a bounty of samples, of course. Can you say the same for parasites, however? Doctors have tried in vain to develop a, a vaccine for malaria. Parasites like Plasmodium are far more genetically complex than the T-virus, and to think they will submit to control is utter folly. Perhaps in your country, consumers are willing to buy automobiles with no brakes, but here in America they know better. Then again, I recall you have a degree in economics, so no doubt you've already devised a brilliant marketing strategy to win over the naysayers. I look forward to your talk at the forum in Berlin next month. In the meantime, I shall be exploring medical solutions to this hubristic uh, problem you've uh, foisted on us. Sincerely, Nathaniel Boward. So it's called the Nemesis. Of course, she doesn't uh, call it that. Of course. Um. Oh yeah, got confused which way I was going. Give me all these explosives, didn't they? Liquid filled test tube. Um, alright, let's um Ah oh, damn. Um shit. 
I'll do anyway. An adjuvant sample. These are combined with antigens to increase immune system response. Okay. Let's do it. Vaccine base. This is technically a vaccine, but it needs to be processed for distribution. Perhaps there is equipment for that purpose. I think I know where. Something's gonna happen. In about... 10 to 30 seconds. Primarily in this room here. What else am I supposed to think? Yep. Yep. Come on, come on, come on. Jesus. Oh my god, I thought a tyrant was going to come out. color oh boy very nice <laughs> escape the facility where is he Shut me from up there. I, uh, I'm stuck. Bit of MGS. Oh my goodness. He could kill her right now. I'm starting to wonder if I was doing the right thing. <laughs> Just held up. I think the end is nigh. I'm getting those vibes. What in God's name is this place? Jesus. If this isn't the final staging ground, I'll be very, very surprised. They want me to use flame rounds. And we're saving. <laughs> there. Some kind of grabbing machine in the middle.
Christ. I'm in this business to get paid. So let's make a deal. You go down there, battle the nemesis, and I'll recall it all and sell the combat out. <laughs> Put on a good show, and maybe I don't need the vaccine. Agreed? Good. Oh, God. Fuck you know. Round one, one, one. Ah! Jesus. That was an unfair advantage, sir. Uh, pretty much how he was. In that previous boss fight. Oh shit. Like the ones in Batman Arkham Asylum and shit. Oh, you're doing this shit. Six, five. Watch it, you've got company. Oh no, so oh, don't add zombies. Start hitting those guys too. Here comes some more. Ah, man, I could do without those guys. Jesus 
Christ. It's one of these ones. I know. What do you mean on your left? Oh shit! Whoa, 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 Got some more incoming. Where are they? Number seven. I've got some uh, stuff here. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Here comes a crane. Use it to climb up. They're gonna barbecue his ass. Come on. Come on. Now get on. Well, he's not finished. Okay, maybe he is now. Oh, that'd be a horrible way to wake up, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> 